Rachel's worried about this day her whole life. Worried? Yeah. Since you, yeah. What, you, what she's why? gonna look like as a bride. Why? No little girl grows up thinking that they're gonna be bald on their wedding day. And yeah. Look, what's going on? Like, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm good. I'm. I'm very healthy. Good. So I, okay. Good. When I was seven years old, I started to pull, pluck my eyebrows and eyelashes, and quickly started pulling from my scalp as well. Um, it's a disorder called trichotillomania. I started pulling hair from the back of my scalp as well, creating bald spots and spots that weren't easily hidden. And eventually, I had no hair at all by the time I was eight years old. And it wasn't a phase. It wasn't just a habit. It's an actual disorder. Um, it's just a way for my nervous system to kind of cope with itself. And this is how I walk around every day. I don't wear wigs or anything like that. You know, watching the show, every girl gets that moment where you put the veil on her head and she suddenly sees herself as a bride. And I've just always been scared that I'm not going to have that because I can't necessarily wear a veil. <laughs> and you said, you know, you, you have to wear a veil. If you don't, you're just a pretty girl in a white dress. And that- I, I say that to every bride, because I'm, I'm- And I, I've heard you say it a million times, but for whatever reason that night, it just, it hit me a little bit. And now you're gonna make me cry because I do say that all the time, but I never thought that it would impact somebody negatively and that you would be less of a bride without a veil. I, I would I would never want to offend no. anyone or upset them. Oh, I know. <laughs> Trust me. Ever. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's like the biggest no, no. You don't want to hurt other human beings. And unless you've walked in their shoes, you don't know what they've been through. I know she said that she couldn't wear a veil, but you know, I mean, there's lots of things that we can do. And I think once we find the dress, I think that will help dictate what we're gonna do to accessorize her. Here she comes. Oh my Hello, God. gorgeous, you came out in it. Yeah. It's really pretty. You're, she's beautiful in she's this. She's gorgeous. This is she's way. She's beautiful in all the dresses. How do you feel? This has shocked me, <laughs> like a lot. It's very, very pretty. It's a lot bigger than I thought I'd ever, but like there's just something. I love the top. I do too. It's Oh, wow. okay. Yay. Did a good job. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So well, let's try on some more. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to have fun now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, this one. Yeah. Look at See, that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's beautiful. I chose this dress online before I even got here, but I'm just comparing it to the first dress. <laughs> with another lovely dress, lovely long train. We're loving these long trains, ladies. Yes. So how do you feel? I like this one, I do. With that being said, I picked it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very expected for me. So tell me what you like about it. Um, I like the shape of this. I like the off the shoulder. I don't think it's you. No, I don't either. I think mm -hmm. that I'm looking at the dress more than I am her, and I think mm -hmm. the, the first dress because it was so clean, it just, I was, it was really yeah. showcasing the right. money shot, which is yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. So if she likes the shape, do we have a simple one in this shape? We'll find some. Yes, we will. Is maybe a bit much. <sighs> oh, yeah. Snatch. Oh, always. We're good. You're quiet. Uh-oh. <laughs> I already start crying because it just feels right. Look at the back. Oh, Rachel, Ooh. do you feel beautiful? I don't even have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh, buddy. I am nervous walking out. <laughs> it's everything that I could ever want. But I don't think I will know until I come out and see my mom's sister and Michaela's reactions. Oh, here she comes. Ooh. Oh. What's going on, Rachel? I don't have words. Mom, you're always so quiet. I. What do you mm -hmm. think? It's beautiful. It's oh. Rachel. 
This is exactly what I had in mind. I'm standing in Kleinfeld wearing possibly my dress with the closest people to me. Who wouldn't get emotional about that? So now that you're in a dress, should we talk accessories or um, what are you thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Let us play a little bit. We'll be right back. I don't know where this is going. She may hate it, she may love it, but I'm gonna do everything I can to really make her a bride because she really came in and said, I can't wear a veil, I don't have hair. So I wanna see if it's even possible for her to wear a veil. Okay, we're just gonna play. And hold the bouquet like so down pretty. here and take the front of the veil. Let's try something. Oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> Having the veil on is the feeling that I've been looking for. I don't even know what it looks like, <laughs> but the feeling, you can't help but feel like a bride. Keep those eyes closed, and we'll see. Either, once again, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, and that's okay. We don't care. Okay. We didn't, it's, it's just, we thought, you know, well, let's just try it. We don't know. You're either gonna love it or hate it, and it's okay either way. Oh, buddy. I feel like a bride. <laughs> you are, and you're a beautiful bride. You're a bride that hasn't been shorted on anything. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> They make dreams come true. <laughs> they make dreams come true. So what do you think? Should we ask you the question? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're about 20 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay. You ready? Rachel, Rachel are, are you, you saying, saying yes, yes to, to the dress? dress? I'm saying yes to the dress and the veil. <laughs> <laughs> Randy always said, that if you don't wear a veil, you're just a pretty girl in a white dress. Well. <laughs> that still holds true. <laughs> I, guess, I guess he's still right. <laughs> I don't know. He made it happen. He made it work. <laughs>